Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is August 11th, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the Day and for Fraud Awareness Week. Please folks, protect yourselves because unfortunately those scam telephone calls and emails that we get don't come with this big fraud alert sign. If it's too good to be true, don't fall for it. If uh, somebody promises you something but they need money first, don't fall for it. If a company that you trust sends you an email that has a link where you're supposed to follow that link and provide financial information, it's not the company you think it is. It's a scam artist hiding behind there. So, you know, for me, if I've got a, a relationship with, let's say, a bank and I get an email from the bank saying, your finances are in jeopardy, there's been a problem with the account, you need to you know, contact us, I will call the number that I know relates to that company that I have called previously and ask because there's no way I'm going to fall for that kind of fraud and put my family at risk. I say there's no way, but they're very clever. So do your due diligence. Look up online at the scams that are going on these days and, and just protect yourself against any kind of fraud. Okay, that's my PSA for the day. That is the inspiration I would use for Wordle. So let's see. I'm going to say fraud. It's got some good letters in it, right? Okay, it's got one letter in it that I can use. Huh, okay. So we need to find an A somewhere else. Let's just look at some of these other letters that we might use. Uh, R, we've already used S, T, L, N, E, and then of course the A, right? What about, oh, no, that doesn't work. I was thinking of slant, but of course it puts the A right there. What about salty? I like the word salty and I often use it. So <laughs> salty is also good when we're talking about fraud. Because when scam artists call me, I get salty with them. I figure I've got some, you know, aggression in my life. I've got, you know, things that frustrate me and and I don't want to take it out on my family. So I'll take it out on those scam artists when they call. All right. So we've got an A and we've got an L, but we don't know what else. I mean, where are these going to go? So the A could go here or here or here. And we've got an L, which could go here, or here, or here, or here. So, and then we still have, let's look at some other letters. We still didn't use an E or an N, right? So those are words, letters that we might uh, include here. What if, I mean, the A could go here, but it also could be like an EA. What if it's like EA in here? E-A-L doesn't look right. What about clean? Okay, so let me see about trying clean. First of all, it would give us the E and the N. It would let us know if those are part of the word. Another thing it would do is help us to place the A and the L. The L could go here, right? Yeah. So C-L-E-A. A could go here. N. I like it. I'm going to try clean. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, right away I'm thinking glean, right? It could be glean. Let's see if it could be anything else. First, we're going to start with the letters that we've already used. Can't be another L. 
uh, can't be an E, can't be an A, can't be an N. Nope. For the Q, W, I, O, P, G, H, J, K, Z, X, V, B, M. Good news. I'm so tired of it maybe being possibly 17 different options. I don't think I have any other options. I think it's glean. I think it is. And this is what focusing on those uh, common letters can help us do. There we go. Got it. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.